So, further to that, we actually hooked it up to an IGBT, it's that one, using the low side of it. So the circuit, oh, screen's gone off, Good. thank you, you didn't need to do that, come on, come back on. So, come on. So, we're using this one, it's not connected like that, it's connected like this one, what I've done is that is connected to there, and this side is connected to the motor, so that's not the circuit. What it is, is effectively we're using this transistor. In fact, we are using that transistor. Yes, we are. We're switching the high side gate, so that is actually connected to there. So we're kind of using this side of the circuit to switch that. Okay, and so we've got that circuit in there. <coughs> There's the P. Okay, that's the P connected to the supply. Uh, that is not connected. In fact, let's just put it on there just to get it out of the way. Okay. And then this is the gate coming in from our circuit, which we're driving basically directly. We're not using comp uh, a complementary emitter follow up affair. We're just complementing emitter follow up. We're not using that. We're just driving it directly. This is the pick, which is driving it, which I've blown a few channels on. You'll probably be able to see. <laughs> There's only so many LEDs lit. Um, so this is powering our IGBT gate, right, which is powering our motor. And the motor's turning, if you can see it. Yeah, see? And there's the frequency. And so we can alter the uh, PWM. Now, the reason why it's like that is because I'm measuring it. The reason why it's this dog leg is because I'm actually measuring the frequency from the IGBT output, which is going through the motor, which is an induction spike. It's giving us an induction spike. If I take the motor out of the circuit, which I will do, if I say take that one off, okay, if I can, no I can't, take this one off then, yes there you go. Now you see it goes to more of a square wave. It's not perfect because of the uh, problems I had with the uh, using a, a 2N2955 because it was the only PMP I had. Okay, and you can see now it's spiking. So if I now vary the mark space, You can hear the motor spindle speeding up. And that's altering the mark space again down. Okay. Yeah. You can see how it's varying. Scope. So it might change. And that's full speed. Okay. So we're varying the speed based on a PWM. No problem. Oh. Now we can alter the frequency. And because of the way the software is set up, if I reduce the uh, mark space towards the speed, you know, and I make it increase space, it just lowers the frequency. As you can see. And you can actually see the spindle turning now because it's going slow enough I can stop it and you can see it's only just turning okay and then I can speed it up by changing the mark space ratio oops wrong way that way there you go see that's faster and that's slower and you can hear the frequencies remaining constant so it's a good PWM working through an IGBT the high side IBGT which is that one so it's actually working that IGBT from the pick which is obviously above the supply and so it's proved the point. It's definitely working. Yes, there we go.